This morning we're in the Port de Mallorca in Palma to see the yacht Cigar, a Nyad 505. She's been with the same ownership from you and is in wonderful condition. Enjoy the trip. Thank you. Cigar is in her original ownership. Before stepping on board, please note the clever transom design with two stairways down to the swimming platform. Ideal for access to the sea or tender and to the aft storage in the transom. On the pushbit is storage for the six person life raft, new in 2021, and the outboard. The tender is a Zodiac inflatable Cadet 285. It packs into a bag and is stowed in the aft port locker. When in use, it may be stowed on the bezins only pull up and out aluminium extending davits. We go on board via the lightweight, easy to use, exit engineering carbon passerelle. Seagal sails under the Malta flag, which is a private yacht and has EU VAT paid status. There are large deck lockers aft, port and starboard. At each side on the pushbit are comfortable seats, one of the many details built in for this owner. The aft deck is very spacious and the main track is positioned outside of the cockpit and yet easily at hand for the helmsman. The Anderson stainless steel winches are top quality and give maximum grip with minimum wear on ropes. Seagal has clear side decks. The Genoa tracks are inboard. She has flush hatches. The head sail, a UK sales Millennium Genoa, is set on a Furlex 400 TD furling system with the control line running along the port side. The anchor is a stainless steel Delta 40 kg. The electric Lafrance Project 1500 windlass is recessed in the locker at the bow. There is a handheld wild remote for the windlass and a control of the pedestal. Seagal has a much upgraded specification throughout compared to the standard yacht. Her mast is a carbon fibre Nordic spar with triple spreader sweat back spreaders. She has inboom furling mainsail the manual furler boom system with control lines to the cockpit. The mainsail is a UK sales millennium. There's also a parasailer downwind sail. The boom vang and backstays are adjusted hydraulically with a manual panel in the cockpit. The practical fixed screen aided by the spray hood gives great protection in the cockpit. The bimini was remodelled and renewed in 2020 and now provides good shelter and allows for easy access to the cockpit from either side or aft. All six cockpit Anderson winches are electric and self-tailing. The primaries were upgraded to 68s. Control buttons are set on the combing. On deck, Seagal was set up to be sailed single-handed and has sailed mostly with just the husband and wife on board. The yacht has a wonderful cockpit area, spacious, comfortable, with its umbrella cushions and well protected from the elements. On the pedestal, there is a Furuno multifunction touch hybrid 9 inch screen, which was new in 2023. There are also the engine controls, bow and stern thruster controls, windlass control, and autopilot. There's also an exterior VHF. The teak cockpit table has fold up leaves each side for outside dining, and there's a deep stowage space inside and the essential drink holders. By the companionway, there's an extra autopilot control on a wandering lead. Over the companionway are the multi-units and wind displays. A very clever feature is that the washboard stows inside the sliding hatch. Ingenious, I haven't seen that anywhere else. I so love the varnished T 
teak tops on each side of the companionway. What a wonderful cockpit, particularly for a 50 foot yacht. Just inside the companionway is the EPIRB, handy if you should ever need it. Seagull features a Rhodes Young custom designed and styled interior, which is much lighter and more modern than the standard, with white painted lockers, cream fabric by the saloon windows, an oval table, a long sofa to starboard, leather covered handrails, and further custom detailing in all areas. The forward area of the yacht was redesigned and rebuilt as one large VIP cabin in Palma in 2020. Originally, she did have two cabins for her. The work was very well done and matches perfectly. The cabin has a sofa, very generous lockers, a large double bed, whole windows and the overhead hatch. The ensuite head area to starboard has a separate shower stall and is all finished in a clean and practical style, easy to maintain and clean. In the saloon, the elliptical piece of the saloon table flips over to make the table rectangular. You need to see it to understand it. The companionway with its five steps is easy to navigate, it's not steep and has good hand rolls. It hinges up to give access to the front of the engine. The white panelled locker after the chart table hinges forward for chart storage. At the chart table is a recessed electrical panel behind the perspex door. Behind the other Perspex door are the controls for the water maker, chargers, transfer pump and generator. The Hatterland screen is connected to the Furuno GPS plotter system with control unit that was all renewed in May 2023. There's also the Thrain and Thrain sat phone handset, Furuno VHF, ICOM MF HF radio, an ICOM handheld VHF, there's also the handset at the helm of course, plus digital units by the chart table and another at the galley. In the saloon you see again the stylish mix of the dark Wengi flooring, mahogany woodwork, cream microfiber overhead fabric, black Corian worktops, white lockers and the dark porthole detailing. Segal has a superb seaworthy galley with good storage, plenty of work areas and it's fully equipped, including the three burner force 10 cooker with oven and grill. There's an extractor fan and gas alarm by the cooker with an automatic cutoff. There is a large isotherm front opening fridge above the counter aft of the galley. Below that are two further drawer fridges. Inboard and aft of the sinks is the door to the engine room, but more of that soon. The aft owner's cabin also includes custom details and is a very comfortable place to read, work and relax, as well as sleep. There's excellent storage. For comfort, the yacht has marine air systems, air conditioning throughout. 
There's also a dispatcher airtronic heating with outlets in all cabins, plus an extra heater outlet in the cockpit. The ensuite head and shower is to starboard, and this features white laminated bulkheads, a Corian wash basin and countertop, electrical toilet. There's a separate shower compartment with a semi-circular sliding door. There's also a mirror on the inside of the door and an opening port to the cockpit for ventilation. Both the forward and aft heads are electrical quiet flush units. There are two holding tanks on board, one forward and one aft. Cigar has ample freshwater capacity with 840 litres and three stainless steel tanks, plus the water maker, a Spectra Newport 400 Mark II that produces approximately 60 litres per hour. The three fuel tanks contain approximately 714 litres. The batteries were all new in 2022. In the engine room area, there's the Combi Charger Inverter and the Victron Energy Isolation Transformer 7000 Watt 230 Volt. Over to starboard is the Mastervolt Whisper 6kVA Ultra Diesel Generator in its sound shield. This has only 135 hours. You see the water maker. The main engine is a Volvo Penta D3, 110 horsepower, compact five cylinder marine diesel with approximately 1900 hours. This is driving a flexifold three blade folding propeller. There are bow and stern thrusters. Both are MC units, retractable and with the control at the helm. Seagull is very easy to manoeuvre in port. Let's have a look at the engine access under and after the companionway. 